What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and I'm back again. This time we're going to be looking at the Nexus 5. This is not the 5X and this is the old Nexus 6, not the 6P. So these are the older versions of said phones. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at CyanogenMod. And I've got some stuff in there I need to clean out apparently. I don't take this case off very often. So I want to go ahead and give you some backstory. This video might take a little while to explain and get everything done but hang in there with me so my nexus 5 here i have it on stock but i did go ahead and root it it is rooted i can show you super su open it up no issues i can open up greenify here let's go ahead and open up greenify and it'll say it has been granted uh, well Okay, I gotta open up an app real quick. So let me go ahead and open up Hill Climb Racing and then we'll go ahead and close everything out. All right, now we'll open up Greenify once again. And we're gonna hit this button. It should say, grant. well, it didn't say granted super user permission, but it is currently, oh, you know what? I have notifications turned off for that. So this does have root, this thing is rooted, but there's one slight little problem and I had the same problem on it on my Nexus 6. Okay. So a couple issues here. You get this update. It says, do you want to install? You're like, oh yeah, sure. Let me just install this little tiny, tiny little update here and improve the security of my phone. I know you're thinking rooted. You have no security anyway. That's not true. You only really mess things up if you install an app that you are not sure of and you grant it super user permissions and then it takes full control of your phone. So just be careful what you're installing and what you're using. It's pretty freaking simple. All right, so normally you go into the stock recovery and it starts installing. Well, we have got some recovery. We can install that. It's not going to work. So let's go ahead and reboot our phone back to the system. And we're just going to have that nagging, annoying notification until we put our phone back to stock. You can download the Nexus images. But if you run the flash all command, it's going to erase the user data and put new user data on there. And you're going to be starting over from fresh. Log into all your accounts. Play your games again. Get to where you were. I mean, you could back it up and then put it on something like this. Because, again, once you flash it back to stock, it erases the phone's internal storage. And guess what? That's all you have. So if you back it up and store it on a little flash drive like this guy right here, then you're safe. You can just restore it later on. Which gets annoying, and every time there's a little update, flashing back to stock, and doing all this crap just to apply that update, just to restore stuff, it gets really old really fast. And as you'll see with my battery here, it has no clue what my battery life is at. It has no clue. This thing could literally die on me right now during this video, because it has no clue. It thinks my battery is just amazing, like it's full at all times. <laughs> you can't charge it unless you turn it off, go into bootloader, then you charge it. That's the only way it's going to know whether it's full or not. It's just going to die on you randomly. So I don't know what the issue with flashing twerp and then super issue and a modified boot image, uh, what all that does, but obviously it doesn't do your phone any good. So on this phone, guess what? You see that little, you saw, you see the little light up there that just flashed? Yeah, that was a notification. I just cleared it. It was a notification. And also, you see another thing? Fi Network. This is currently on Google's little, like, $20 a month plan they have. Well, it's $20 plus 10 gigs for data, so I pay about $30 a month, and I'm just trying it out at the moment. Let's go ahead and turn Wi-Fi off, and you'll see LTE up there. If you download this neat little app called Signal Check Pro, it'll verify what network you're currently on. I mean, technically, you can go into your about status and stuff and see. See, this is what I'm talking about. This video isn't simply about Sajima. This is about a lot of different things. Okay. Mobile network services appear to be disabled or unavailable. Check settings. This is telling me right now that it is on Sprint. Now, normally, I would be connected to, like, band 41, 26 or something along those lines but it's got me on the old school sprint lte that's really weird normally it would jump between sprint and t-mobile depending on which one's better uh, i've had it be on sprint when sprint sucks here really bad but it'll switch between t-mobile and sprint so 
Phi Network does work on Cyanogamod. I will show you that real quick. Let's go to About Phone. See, Cyanogamod updates. It's going to find a new nightly because this is from a couple nights ago. And here you can see that we are on the Nexus 6, 6.0.1, and we are on the nightly for the Shamu. This is the Hammerhead. This is the Shamu. So we are on Cyanogamod at the moment. All right, I couldn't leave you guys hanging on that note. I mentioned Project Phi and Cyanogamod, and I kind of wanted to show you the difference between Cyanogamod and stock with Project Phi. Like, what needs to be fixed in Cyanogamod in order to in order for it to be more accepting uh, for Project Phi users. <laughs> this is definitely aimed towards Project Phi users, and if you do not use Project Phi, you can go ahead and just skip this part. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit the next button here. It's going to activate on Project Phi. And with completely stock ROM, we do have a battery percentage, so the battery is working. Don't know why it messes up after you root it. Okay, so actually, I know this issue. I need to sign into my Gmail account that has Project Phi associated with it. All right, so we added the Google account, and we're going to go ahead and do Project Phi there. Activating, and it should activate just fine. All right, so now it's activating. All right, we are good to go. Let's go ahead and just hit this button real quick, and it's going to fully activate our service, but um, and download Signal Check Pro. All right, Signal Check Pro is almost there, and then we're just gonna go ahead and open it up. There we go, look at that, see? S provider, Sprint, Band 26. And it says up there in my status bar that I'm on Band 26. Those annoying little sounds you get, you can actually go to the preferences, go to alerts, and you can turn all of those off. So, but that's really weird. My biggest issue is that we are currently on a much faster band and we can connect to more bands than what was available to us with that Science Run Nightly that I had installed before. So, if you're a Project Phi user, consider staying stock for now. All right, so yeah, we are on Science Mod and we're going to go ahead and put Science Mod on that phone. Here's a little Easter egg, by the way, in case you haven't found it. So you can just go ahead and play this like Flappy Bird kind of clone. And you can suck really bad like me, or you can do better than me. Now it chimed and connected. It's, the, it's still on the Sprint's. It's still on Sprint's old stuff. Man, if I took this SIM card out and put it in my 5X or my 6P, I would be on Sprint's newer bands. It's kind of a down thing, but this is new. This is all new. So it's, of course, not at its best. So let's go ahead and install Cyanogamod on this guy right here. We're gonna go ahead and power the phone down. And this works on both phones. You need to download Hammerhead for the Nexus 5 and Shamu for the 6. Make sure you don't get those screwed up. We're gonna go ahead and insert our OTG. And then we're gonna go ahead and boot into bootloader by holding volume down and the power button. We're gonna scroll down to recovery. And then we're going to wait for this to pop up. All right, from here, we're gonna choose wipe. And this is something I do. This erases the whole phone, everything. So if you had the ROM downloaded, you're gonna lose it. So just make sure you have one of these guys right here. You don't have to, you can have it in your downloads. Just make sure you don't do this little process right here. If you wipe your phone and you lost your download, you can side load it, but that's, that's a more advanced thing. And <sighs> Again, if you do this, it's erasing your entire phone, everything. So this is a step that's purely optional if you have one of these little guys right here. Very, very neat. There's different brands, Pluggable, Kingston, Patriot. There's so many different ones. This is just the one that's really convenient because I don't need to find an adapter. It just works. All right. So since we did that, if you did that step, you got to reboot back to recovery. Also, this knows that our battery is at less than half. So, all right. Now, go ahead and do a Dalvik Dal cache, system, data, and cache. Okay? This is for everybody. This is for everybody. Since we did the format data, we don't have to do the internal storage. Don't do that. Do not do that. So we're going to swipe to wipe. This step right here is for everybody. If you have the ROM downloaded on your internal storage, you will not lose it as long as you don't do that step right that I did at the beginning. So now, since our internal storage is wiped here and we can't choose anything, we're gonna go ahead and choose the OTG drive. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and choose the Hammerhead. 
If you're on your Nexus 6 and you're at the same screen here, you're going to choose Shamu, not Hammerhead. Make sure you do not get the two confused with each other. All right. And you're also going to need G apps. G apps is your Google packages. Now, I will have a link in the description, and you choose whether you have a ARM, a ARM64, or a uh, x86, like a laptop or something. Now, the 6 and the 5 are not 64 bit, they are 32 bit. So make sure you choose the one that does not say 64. As you can see right here, it just says ARM, not ARM64. If you have a 64 bit phone, Make sure you choose the one that's ARM64. Also, Google it. Is the Nexus 6P 64-bit? Is the S6 Plus, is it 64-bit? Or just Google your phone and see if it's 64-bit or not. And then we're going to go ahead and choose the Super. It's going to have every G app, every Google app ever. And then I don't have to download any later on manually. So this is going to take a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward through this. This one right here will take a little while, depending on which one you flashed. And for me, it didn't do it, so that's weird. On my Nexus 6, that one worked fine. All right, I had to change the batteries on my uh, mic here, so it was saying it was almost dead. So this is the screen you're going to see. I want to go ahead and just reboot this thing real quick. Uh, later on, once you fully set it up, See, look, now it's now it has our battery percentage, so it actually knows how much battery we have. But uh, once you reset it up, you can go ahead and change how it does this. So now we're just going to go down to recovery, and we're going to try to flash those G apps one more time. So now our internal storage has stuff on it, so that's pretty cool. Okay, it says insufficient storage is there, so that's really strange. Let's go ahead and just set it all up. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and chose the Nano G apps, and it's working at the moment. Before, I kept getting an error saying there wasn't enough space. So, yeah, looks like it's working. I tried the freaking stock. I tried full. I tried super. None of those were working. Finally, I tried Nano, and as you can see right there, G apps, ARM 6.0, Nano, uh, and it looks like it's all installing. And earlier we had issues where it was saying like setup error and and four stopped and stuff like that. So once this is done, we're going to go back to the home screen and we're going to wipe the cache and just do a factory reset basically. But we're not going to wipe the internal storage or the system. We're just going to wipe data and then it should boot up just fine. Don't know why. All right, there we go. Look, successful. Awesome. So let's go ahead and do a wipe and let's just choose Dalvik cache and cache. What's the normal one going to do? It's going to do data, cache, and Dalvik. So yeah, you could just basically do a factory reset right here. You don't have to choose anything extra. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, go back to reboot um, to system. Now, you're not going to have root yet. So you do need to download Super SU. Uh, right now, it's like beta 2.66. And we're going to have links to that in the description also. So if you want root, you have to do that. Or you can go in the settings and enable root. Uh, inside your mod but i prefer to use super issue or what you could do is once you get the phone booted up and everything's all good you could just open your browser up navigate to the super issue page download it to your phone's internal storage and flash it from your internal storage you don't have to use this little guy anymore it's he's done he's out of there unless you back stuff up and you need to restore it from there now we're good that was how to install cyanide mod on the nexus 6 and the nexus 5 so I showed you like a preview of Scientumon on the Nexus 6, and then I showed you how to install it. And then I showed you if you have a Nexus 6 and you're on Project Fi, you're good to go. It's not the best right now, but it should get better in time. And now I don't have to worry about like every time there's an update, going back to stock, and then applying that update, and then restoring, and then rerouting, and then restoring stuff. And every time there's a little bitty update doing that, that gets really old really fast. If you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up i'd greatly appreciate it if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing once this is done you're just going to go ahead and go through the prompts log into sign your mod copy your accounts over or just type in your username your password and you're going to restart restoring stuff it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward it tells you what to do if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing if you're not following me on twitter or instagram please do so i will have links in the description 
to my social media accounts and as well as links to the Torp Recovery, the G apps, and the ROM and Super SU. I'll have links to everything you need in the description below. You might have to click the little text that says show more to expand the description and see all the links. This is what we Josh do, and I'm out.